Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Mexico has a lot to offer. Oh my goodness, the memories. And that is why today we are making a fish soup that is hearty and packed with a ton of flavor. It is rooted in my heart. Start by removing the stem from one red bell pepper. Remove the seeds and roughly dice it. Set these aside. Next, roughly dice half of a medium white onion. Wonderful, fast and easy. That way I don't cry. <laughs> Remove the stem area from four Roma tomatoes and this is about 14 ounces. Roughly dice them. Let me tell you a little backstory of why we love this soup. If you watch our previous videos from our recent trip to Mexico, you may have noticed that there's a river close by and it actually goes through the middle of our town. So we had plenty of fish to make soup. Transfer those tomatoes into a separate dish and let's head over to the stove, come on. First thing is we're gonna toast four guajillo peppers and all I did was remove the seeds and stem and also one meco chipotle pepper. Both morita and meco are chipotle peppers but the difference is meco are actually smoked for a longer period of time. Morita are more on the chocolatey fruity side. So for this recipe I prefer meco and just turn continuously because you don't want them to burn and I'll be doing this over medium low heat. Okay, this one's done. Remove as soon as they become fragrant. Now rinse and drain the peppers, set them aside until we need them. All right, place a pan over medium low heat and heat a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil. Once hot, add in the onions and bell pepper and six peeled garlic cloves. Stir that as needed. Once they have slightly softened, add in the tomatoes. Now I let those tomatoes to release their juices, cook completely, and they're gonna become really soft. And to help those tomatoes, I'm gonna increase the heat to medium. Now let's add all of the spices, starting with two teaspoons of dry Mexican oregano, one and a half teaspoons of paprika, half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, half a teaspoon of whole cumin, four whole cloves, half a teaspoon of dry thyme, and half a teaspoon of ground turmeric. This is gonna give us a nice color. Mix everything in and saute everything for one minute. There's great flavor going on here, a little bit of browning at the bottom, which is great because we're gonna deglaze with two cups of water. Carefully pour them in there and start to combine. Now increase the heat to medium high, that way our mix reaches a boil. It is now boiling, turn off the heat and add the rinsed peppers. Make sure they're well coated, that way they soften and hydrate. It'll take about five to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, how about we go prep the veggies that are gonna make the soup super hearty. As far as veggies, the options are endless and you can pick whichever kind you prefer. I'm personally gonna be doing one Mexican squash. So remove both ends and then cut them into bite-sized pieces. Cut all of your veggies as similar in size as possible because you do want them to cook evenly. And dice a chayote. And continue with two corn on the cob. Cut them into four sections. All right. Here. This is how you do it. That's a little too much. We're not chopping wood here. It does feel like it, but... Yes. Come on. Don't do this at home. You're fired. I had to clean it up because Nelson really did a cut on my cutting board. But it's okay, we were both on it. He did me a favor by cutting it in half. And don't worry, I did wash the cobs that fell on the floor. Also cut 12 ounces of green beans into three sections. Veggies are done. Now let's blend that tomato mix, add it into a blender cup. By the way, have you guys liked this video yet? I hope you have. And I also hope you're enjoying it. Okay, I removed that chipotle pepper from 
the mix because I'm gonna open it up and remove all of those seeds because I want a mild soup. And into the blender it goes. Blend it until completely smooth. <sighs> Done. Let's set this aside until we need it. For the fish, I'm using three pounds of catfish. Now you can use the bigger size ones that come with skin. Just make sure you cut them into medium sized pieces. I'm just gonna cut them in half. By the way, this brings so many memories because my dad would go fishing and then he would tell my mother to get ready with pots and pans and the ingredients to make a soup. And we would head out to the ranch, have a really good time. We would swim in the river and then my mom would cook this delicious fish soup and we would have it for dinner. Sounds really good. I know. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back on the platter. Place a large pot over medium high heat and heat about three tablespoons of avocado oil. Add the green beans, the Mexican squash, and the chayote. Cook the veggies for about two to three minutes. They will begin to cook and brown a little bit. And you wanna make sure to stir continuously. Pour in eight cups of water. Now pour in this amazing sauce. Add one cup of water to the blender so we get the last bit of sauce and pour it into the pot. Stir everything in and look at that beautiful color. Time to add the corn, two bay leaves, half of a bunch of fresh cilantro, four sprigs of mint or hierbabuena, and four sprigs of epazote. This is optional, I know it's hard to find, but if you can get a hold of it, please add it in. Allow this to reach a boil, then lower the heat to medium low. That way it reaches a gentle simmer and let everything cook for about six to eight minutes. You want those veggies to be three quarters of the way done. All right, now let's add salt to taste. And I like to slightly under season it at this point because it will continue to cook. So I'll adjust it at the end. But right now I'll be adding one tablespoon of kosher salt. And now is the time to add the fish. I'm just gonna submerge those in a little bit. I increase the heat to medium high. That way this reaches a boil. Now I'm gonna lower it to medium low so that it reaches a gentle simmer. Cover and allow it to cook for an additional 10 minutes or until the fish is fully cooked and those veggies are nice and soft. The soup is ready. As I mentioned, we are gonna add a little bit more salt and this is one teaspoon of kosher salt and stir that in. Alrighty, turn off the heat and let's serve this up. Top it with some chopped red or white onion, chopped cilantro. And for a kick of heat, you can do chopped serrano or jalapeno and a squeeze of lime juice to open up those flavors. All right, just so you know, you can find the full printable recipe on our website, villacocina.com. It is accessible for your convenience. All right, ready? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh, man. Like a warm hug, comfort food at its best. Yeah. Mm. Makes me feel by the side of the river. We used to do the same thing. Yeah? Yep, go to the river, fish, and then Cook a nice soup. By the way, Nelson is from El Salvador. Oh, we're very similar. Mm -hmm. We're 99% similar, 1% different. He's a woman, I'm a man. That's yeah. the difference. <laughs> well, you caught me there on technicality. <laughs> all right, how about we go eat? Good idea. Don't forget you can follow me on all of my social media platforms and mm. until the leg. I'm sorry, so the next one. <laughs> Let's go you. It's the Bye, soup. Everyone. Can't think anymore.